Welcome back to another Gimpless tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be take, teaching you how to make a cool glossy kind of effect uh, to your text. So, first thing you're going to want to do is open up Gimp. And when Gimp is open, uh, create a new, new image with just the normal uh, pixel size. Grab the text tool, uh, make a nice big box, type in anything you want for the text. I'm just going to type in Gimp. Change the font to sans bold or another bold text that you uh, I like the look of. It's a bonus if it has rounded corners, but it shouldn't have anything too crazy or wacky. Just uh, normal text. It works fine for this. Uh, so get it a nice big text. And then go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Blur about uh, 10 or 11 should be good. Then go to colors, curves, the channel, set the channel to alpha. And then just move these top and bottom ones closer to the middle. And it should give them a they give the uh, letters a nice rounded touch to it. Uh, there, that's a little tutorial on how to make some uh, rounded corners for letters. And the next thing you're going to want to do is right click on this uh, text layer right here, click Alpha to Selection, then create a new layer. Uh, actually, before that, uh, Alpha to Selection, keep that. Go to Select Save to Channel, and this will just save it to uh, your channels. Press Edit Layer Attributes and just rename it to Original. So go back to your layers and now you want to create that new layer. And take your Fill tool, fill it with a blue color. And then just fill that selection with the blue color. And then create another new layer. And then take the Move tool, move, click on the Move selection. And then just move it down a little like that. So you have a little space from the outside to where the selection actually starts. And uh, move it up a little. That should be good. And now you want to go select, save channel to path. And now we have these two. On this original, just right click and press channel to selection. And on this new one, right click and press subtract from selection. And you see that just subtracts from where it was. Uh, now go back to your layers. On this new layer, take out your fill tool and with a white foreground color, fill in that selection. Then go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Uh, blur about three. That'll just help it blend nicer. Oops. Uh, I always forget that. Uh, before you fill it in with white, press select, shrink. Shrink it by two pixels. There. Now you want to fill it in with white. I'm really sorry about that. My mind totally blanked. Uh, then go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, blur about three. Just help it, and then select none. It'll that just helps it to blur better with the blue. Uh, so now you have these three layers. So what you're gonna want to do now is uh, right-click on the blue layer, alpha to selection, create a new layer. Uh, just move that up. And then get a black and a white foreground and background color. Make sure the black is the foreground. And then on the gradient tool, you want foreground to background. And for the shape, you want shaped spherical. Then just make a line across. And you get that. Uh, then you want to right click on this new layer, which you just applied the gradient to, and press remove alpha from selection. And then select none. Now you want to click on this GIMP, the blue GIMP layer. Uh, filters, map, bump map and you want to invert the bump map and you want to keep the azimuth at 135 you can set the elevation to about 43 uh, the depth should be about 13 and the ambient can be about 23 and that gives it nice and if you want to just change your view a little so you can get a better view of the G and that should be good right about there just click OK and you can hide that layer for now and we're almost done. Next thing you want to do is just click on this black GIMP layer. Click Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Blurred about uh, 15 should be good. And then once it's blurred, uh, take the Move tool, 
uh, go back to the layer and then move the active layer. Make sure that one's selected or else it will move the wrong layer. And then just move it down a little like that and it gives it a nice shadow. Uh, you can delete this top layer, that layer. That's just for the bump map to help that. Uh, so here we have some nice uh, plastic effect with a nice shadow right there. So I hope this tutorial helped you. And if you like this tutorial, please rate it, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you would like, you can suggest another tutorial idea that you'd like to see me do. So uh, this is GimpWiz for now. I'll see you next time.